So, dude, I wanted to ask you one thing. You, you were mentioning this before we started in the green room that like what makes Kiko Kiko, right? What makes a person who they are? And I started thinking in relationship to how today uh, the world is a bit. Do you see yourself and I will try to think of this as well. Do you see yourself more like you are who you are as an individual or would it be more you are who you are based on like, all right, you are Latino, you're a man, you're this, this and that. Do you how do you see that uh, for you? Like, do you think is you like to categorize yourself with things that of who you are, like you're Latino, you're a guy or this or you're more like who you are individually? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, you know, I've asked myself this question many times. And the first thing, you know, many people say or, or you tend to say is, well, I'm my soul. You know, that what makes Johnny Boy, Johnny Boy, you know, your soul, tu alma, you know, your what 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 the Christian faith calls, you know, your spirit. But, you know, if, if we put that aside for a second, because, you know, that that is if that's a very simple answer. If you're a Christian, who you are, you you are your soul, you know. But if you want to take a non-Christian approach and you want to focus more around a material world, I would say that what makes Johnny Boy Johnny Boy is the set of actions and the memories of the actions. Okay, so your act, the the series of actions in your life, you that was... and, the, and those memories of those actions. Okay, that's actually I I didn't think of it like that, and that's like a simple way to look at it that makes sense. Like you are your decisions and your memory of them. Um, I, I recently heard you you know who Jordan Jordan Peterson is. Jordan Peterson, who's that? He's like a he's a clinical psychologist and also like a teacher from Canada that he he got into like the public world a few years back because he was like against um, a bill in Canada that was gonna make it mandatory for you to call people their non-binary gender pronoun. But baby, it's this guy that he blew up because of his ideas. But uh, he's a very interesting guy. But one of the things he was saying is that. Having a partner in life, like a wife or whatever, significant other, especially after you've been with them for a long time, helps you know who you are because when those memories are made with another person, it makes them more real. And that shit hit me. I was like, oh, fuck. Because I, I feel like even one sometimes doesn't really know who the fuck one is. I sometimes feel that. And then... When I, for example, link up with you or from people from the past, it almost like links you up to, oh shit, like, yeah, this is, I don't know if you feel that, so like, oh shit, yeah, we, we did, yeah, this is real. It's, it's, it almost like confirms it uh, when you have those Yeah, and when I, like you, you, all those sets of memories kind of like get connected together all again, you know, it, it kind of puts you in like a, pa a timeline in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And it's interesting that yeah that that so i think that's a good way to look at it who you are you are the set of choices you've made and the memory of them 